everybody, welcome to class today. Today is part of our Yoga for Detox series. It's going to be a fairly well-rounded class designed to build heat. So part of detoxing is building heat, sweating and twists. So this one incorporates a fair bit of movement and a lot of twists. If you enjoy these classes, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you want to know more about personalized classes, rehabilitation, or exercise programs, head over to my Instagram. We're going to get started today in a comfortable cross-legged position. Grounding the hands down on the knees, take a nice deep inhale through the nose, grow length through the spine. And then as you exhale through the mouth, let the shoulders fall away from the ears, the knees fall towards the floor. One more like that, take a nice deep inhale to gather length. And then exhale through the mouth, create space. And start to breathe in and out through the nose, maybe connecting to Ujjayi Pranayama. Using the breath to build heat and then get rid of anything that you don't need. Start to blink open the eyes. On your inhale, grow tall. Take the left hand to the right knee, the right hand behind you. Inhale. And then as you exhale, draw the belly to the spine. Move the left ribs towards the right. Use your inhales to grow tall. Your exhales to contract the belly. Twist a little deeper. And take two more breaths. Keep the head neutral, the shoulders stacked over the hips. Take an inhale to return to center, and as you exhale, twist it over to the other side, taking the right hand to the left knee, the left hand behind you. Using your inhales to grow tall through the crown of the head, your exhales to twist the right ribs to the left, and gently drawing the right hip back to bring the twist into the spine. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, come back to center, roll over the shins, come to all fours. Plant the left hand and as you inhale, sweep the right arm up to the sky, opening the chest to the right. And then as you exhale, bring it down to the floor. Inhale, sweep the left arm open, open the chest to the left. Exhale to the floor. Two more each side, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Try to keep the pelvis neutral, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. And this time as you exhale, thread it underneath the left arm, coming to rest the back of the hand on the floor. You could stay here or maybe you lift the left arm to the sky, wrap it around the back. And maybe you stay here or extend the left leg behind you. Toes can stay on the floor, lift to the sky. Turn the knee and the hand to the floor. On your inhale, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, thread it underneath. You can stay here or take the right arm to the sky, maybe wrapping the hand around the back to reach for the left inner thigh. And you could stay here or you could extend the right leg behind you toes on the ground or lifting the heel up. Keep the left ribs spinning to the left, opening the right shoulder. And 
and then return the knee and the hand to the floor on your inhale spin the left arm up towards the sky and then as you exhale take it down take the hands a handprint forward tuck under the toes and then make your way back into downward dog take a generous bend to the knees to start and melt the heart towards the thighs and then keep all this length in through the side body maybe start to straighten the knees any amount and then as you inhale ripple forward to plank and take an exhale here on your next inhale spin the heels to the left open the right arm to the sky exhale through plank inhale spin the heels to the right open the left arm to the sky exhale through plank keep going like this inhale right arm exhale inhale left arm exhale one more each side inhale exhale inhale exhale take an inhale in your plank and then exhale, send it all the way back to downward facing dog. Walk the feet a little bit forward and then take the right hand to the left ankle or calf. Send both heels down to the floor evenly as you start to spin the chest towards the left, maybe looking under the left arm. And you could stay here or maybe center the left hand a little bit more. Gaze to the floor, come up onto the right toes. And then maybe start to float the right leg off. And if you want to challenge your balance more, you can start to draw the right elbow to the right and start to look underneath the left arm. And take one more inhale. And then exhale, return it down. Plant down through the right hand. Take the left hand to the left. Uh, to the right leg or ankle looking out underneath the right armpit for the twist and feel free to hang out here or look down towards the floor maybe come up onto the left toes and then maybe start to float that left leg up and behind you and again feeling free to challenge your balance if you're feeling really steady here you can look out underneath the right arm and then slowly return it all the way down to the floor take an inhale shift yourself forward exhale knees can drop lower chaturanga inhale to plank two more exhale chaturanga inhale to plank exhale to chaturanga inhale to plank exhale downward facing dog inhale ripple the spine forward to plank exhale lower all the way to the belly set up for cobra untuck the toes inhale peel the chest up elbows glide by the ribs shoulders wide exhale roll it down two more inhale exhale one more inhale exhale untuck the toes knees up or down make your way back to plank and then exhale ripple it back to downward dog we'll put it together in a vinyasa inhale roll through to plank exhale your choice lower halfway or all the way inhale flip the toes up dog or cobra knees lifted or belly to the ground exhale back to downward dog two more inhale ripple forward knees can drop exhale halfway or all the way inhale upward dog or cobra shine the chest forward exhale downward dog last one inhale exhale inhale exhale 
look towards the top of the mat, step, walk or float. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Two more like that. Inhale, shine the chest forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend the knees as much as you need to, fold forward. Last one, inhale. Exhale. This time as you inhale, come all the way to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, right arm back, left arm forward. Keep the hips pointing forward. And take a few breaths here, spreading your arms like wings, reaching fingertip to fingertip, gently drawing the tail down and lengthening through the spine. On your inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. And then as you exhale, gently draw the left hip forward as you send the left arm back twisting the left ribs to the back of the mat. I'm trying to make the twist come from the upper back, the mid back, as opposed to just from the neck. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Sun salutation A, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, for the first one, step back to plank. On your exhale, lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step, walk or float. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Bend the knees on your inhale, chair pose. Exhale to stand. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, your choice, step, walk or float. Land with bent arms, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Look towards the hands, step, walk or float. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale to stand. Inhale, sweep the arm. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, down dog. Look to the top, step, walk, float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, to stand. Three more. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, dog. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, stand. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, step, walk or float, inhale, exhale, inhale, chair, exhale, inhale, last round, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Step, walk or float. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, chair. Exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale, step the right leg back. Take an inhale here. Exhale, drop the knee. 
Inhale, sweep the arms up, Anjaneyasana. And then as you exhale, you're going to take the right arm forward, the left arm back. Gently draw the ribs towards the pelvis, the pelvis towards the ribs to lengthen the lower back. And think of the left hip drawing back and the right hip drawing towards the left knee. And take one more inhale here. And then as you exhale, you're just going to straighten through the front leg, coming into Ardha Hanumanasana, half split pose. Inhaling, sending the sternum forward, and then exhaling, folding a little deeper. On your inhale, re-bend through the front knee, lift the back knee, plant the right hand, take the left hand to the outside of the left knee and push it towards the midline as you start to rotate the chest open towards the left. And you can stay here or on your next inhale, sweep the left arm up towards the sky. On your next inhale, sweep the left arm forward on a diagonal. And then as you exhale, plant the hand, step the right foot forward. Inhale, come into a halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, step the left leg back. Take an inhale here, gather length through the spine. Exhale, drop the back knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up, Anjaneyasana. And then as you exhale, take the right arm back, the left arm forward. Gently drawing the right hip back, lengthening through the lower back. Relaxing the jaw and the shoulders, take three more breaths. Think of your ribs rotating around your spine. Take one more inhale to lengthen. And then as you exhale, just circle the hands down, frame the front foot, Ardha Hanumanasana. As you inhale, come back into your low lunge, lift the back knee, plant the left hand, take the right hand to the outside of the right knee as you start to spin the chest open towards the right. Staying here or as you inhale, keeping the knee hugging in, reach the right arm towards the sky. And take an inhale and then as you exhale reach the right arm forward in a diagonal inhale and then exhale circle the hand to the floor step the left leg forward inhale halfway lift lengthen exhale to fold inhale chair pose exhale come to standing Surya Namaskar B inhale chair exhale to fold Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk, float. Make your way to downward facing dog. Step the right leg forward, set up heel to heel. The back foot turns in on an angle. And then inhale, raise yourself up to warrior one. As you exhale, take the left arm forward and think of someone drawing the left arm towards the front of the mat to spiral the left side of the rib cage. And then on your next inhale, sweep the arm up as you sink a little deeper into the right leg. And take four more breaths here. There's a very subtle twist in the torso towards the front of the mat. Take one more inhale, lengthen. And then as you exhale, plant the hands. Option vinyasa or take it straight to downward dog. You can always keep the right leg floating. 
And then step the left leg forward, line up heel to heel with the back foot on an angle. And then as you inhale, raise up warrior one. Take the right arm forward and again, think of that arm being pulled forward so that the collarbones and the ribs come to the front of the mat. Bend a little deeper into the left knee as you sweep the arm up. Think of the tailbone dropping gently to the floor as you sink a little deeper into the hips. And take three more breaths here. Keep grounding through the back foot. And take one more inhale. Exhale, your choice, vinyasa or straight to downward dog. Look to the front, step, walk or float. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sink the hips, chair pose. Exhale, come to standing. Surinamaskar B, two times to the breath. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float. Inhale, up dog, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Step the right leg forward, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, circle the hands down to the floor, take it through a vinyasa. And keep the integrity in the pose that you set up with your blueprint. Step the left leg forward, raise up, warrior one. Inhale. And then exhale slowly with control. Take it through a vinyasa or straight to downward dog. If you need to move slower than me, feel free. Look towards the top of the mat, step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale to stand. Last one. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, dog. Step the right leg with control. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, with or without a vinyasa to downward dog. Step the left leg. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, take it down with or without a vinyasa, we meet in dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step, walk or float. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sink the hips, chair pose. Stay in your chair, this time as you exhale, open twist to the right, send the right arm back, keep the left arm forward. Inhale, chair. Exhale, left arm back. Inhale, chair. Keep the knees even, the weight in the heels. Exhale, right. Inhale, chair. Exhale, left. Inhale, chair. One more each side. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Plant the right hand. Inhale, keep the hips even as you sweep the left arm up. Gently draw the left hip down. Exhale, return it to the floor. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. The right hip gently draws down. Exhale to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, step the right leg back. Exhale, drop the hips. Keep the back knee lifted. Inhale, sweep yourself up, crescent warrior. Gently draw the top of the pelvis, the front of the pelvis up, the back of the pelvis down as you sink into the hips. And then take an inhale, keep all this length. As you exhale, hug the hips towards each other. Take the left arm back, the right arm forward.
take two more breaths. Inhale, sweep both arms up and overhead. Exhale, straighten through the front leg, pyramid pose. The back heel reaches towards the floor and the crown of the head reaches towards the left big toe. You can have your hands on blocks if you need to. And take an inhale, come back into your low lunge, bend into the left knee. Plant the right hand, inhale, open twist. Option to stay here or exhale, step it back, side plank. Take an inhale here and then exhale, sweep the left arm underneath the right. Inhale, rotate it open. Try and keep the hips stacking evenly, keep moving with your breath. One more. And then exhale, take it back to plank, optional vinyasa, or come straight to downward dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step, walk, or float. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, open, twist to the right. Inhale to chair. Exhale, open, twist to the left. Inhale to chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, left leg steps. Inhale, raise all the way up, crescent lunge. This time, gently draw the right hip back as you extend the tailbone gently to the floor. So you're not tucking the pelvis under, it's more that you've got a plumb line from the crown of the head through the tip of the tailbone. Take one more inhale, gather all that length, and then as you exhale, take the left arm forward, the right arm back, making the twist come from the ribs. One more breath. Inhale, sweep both arms up. Exhale, fold over the front leg, extend a pyramid pose. Bend into the front leg, plant the left hand. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. Always an option to stay here or step the right foot back to meet the left side plank. Inhale, exhale, sweep the right arm under. Inhale, open it up. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, sweep it open. Exhale, with or without a vinyasa, make your way to downward dog. Look to the top, step, walk or float. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. This time, exhale, hands to heart center. Look down and hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Make sure that that left knee doesn't sneak forward. Draw it back in line with the right. As you extend the crown of the head forward, think of rotating the left ribs to the right. Option to stay here, or if you can keep the length, you can extend the right arm up to the sky, the left arm down to the floor. And take three more breaths here. And then look down, start to raise up onto the toes. You're going to sink yourself all the way down onto the heels and then we're going to come into side crow so i'll turn and face you swing your knees to the left keep the left elbow hooked over the right knee and then you're going to plant your hands shoulder different distance apart like chaturanga the right leg is going to come to rest on the back of the left arm start to shift the weight into bent arms maybe lifting the toes up 
maybe splitting the knees, maybe taking the bottom leg forward, the top leg back. Wherever you are, slowly coming back into your little twisted squat. And then unwinding, drop the heels, slowly make your way onto your bum and come into Navasana. Take an inhale here, take the palms together. And as you exhale, tap the floor to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Keep going like that to the pace of your own breath. If you need to bring the heels down, feel free. Take one more to each side. And then come back to Navasana. We're going to take a roll of the spine and make our way all the way back into chair pose. So if you need to take a couple of rolls, feel free to do so. Roll back. And then make your way all the way back up into chair. Take an inhale here. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sternum to thumbs. And then as you exhale, hook the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. This time making sure the right knee doesn't sneak forward as you extend the crown of the head long. Sink the weight to the heels. And you could stay here, or if this feels good, then maybe you take the right arm down, the left arm up, opening up through the collarbones. Take one more inhale. If you split the arms, bring them back together and slowly start to sink your way all the way down onto your heels. And this time you're going to spin your knees to the opposite direction. The left elbow hooks, sorry, the right elbow hooks to the outside of the left knee. Plant yourself for chaturanga arms and then start to shift the weight so that the left leg comes to rest on the back of the right tricep. Maybe you stay here, maybe you split the knees, or maybe you can take the left leg forward, the right leg back. And come back into your side crow and then make your way back into your little squat. Bring the hands back to center. Start to sink back onto the heels and one more time make your way into Navasana boat pose. Take an inhale and then as you exhale, lower, lower to low boat. <laughs> Take an inhale, exhale, send the hands to the right. Inhale, lift up Navasana. Exhale. Low boat, take the hands to the left. Inhale, Navasana. Exhale, lower, hands to the right. Inhale, Navasana. Exhale, lower, hands to the left. Inhale, Navasana. Keep going like this to the pace of your own breath. Do one more to each side. Inhale, Navasana. And we're going to take that rock one more time, landing in chair pose. Using your hands if you need to. Inhale in chair. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take the hands to the hips, shift the weight to the left leg, draw the right knee in towards the chest. And then take the left hand around the right knee, start to take the right hand to the back of the space. And you could stay here, or if you have the flexibility, you could reach down for the outside edge of the left foot and start, sorry, the outside edge of the right foot and start to extend the right foot in front of you. Take one more breath and then exhale, bring it back to center, plant the right foot. Inhale, take the left knee in towards the chest. And then as you exhale, take the right hand to the outside of the left knee. Start to extend the left arm behind you. 
either staying here gently drawing the left hip down or you can start to reach for the outside edge of the left foot with the right hand extending the left foot out in front of you only if you can keep the length in the spine Take an inhale, and then as you exhale, return it to center. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, step the right leg back. Take an inhale here. Exhale, drop the back knee. Inhale, raise all the way up. And then as you exhale, you're going to hook the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. You could choose to stay here, or if you're feeling good, take an inhale. And as you exhale, power up through the back leg, lifting the back knee. Think of drawing the crown of the head forward, the right ribs wrapping towards the left. Left hip hugs in. And just like you did in chair, you could stay here, or if it's available in your body, maybe you take the left arm up, the right arm down. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, plant the hands and drop the back knee. Take an inhale here. Exhale, start to straighten that right leg again. And this time you're going to plant the right hand under the right shoulder. And as you inhale, rotate the left arm up towards the sky. Take an inhale. And exhale, rotate the left hand down. Now you could stay with that variation, otherwise shift yourself forward and make your way into a warrior one stance. So heel to heel, and then start to straighten through the front leg. So we come into intense side stretch. You could stay here or with a block or your hand on the inside of your right left foot, plant your right hand, start to rotate the left arm up towards the sky. Gently drawing the left hip back and the right hip up. Prarivrita Trikonasana, Revolve Triangle Pose. If this doesn't feel good in your body, come back to the knee down on the floor. Take one more inhale. And then exhale, circle the hands down. Your choice, with or without a vinyasa, make your way to downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step, walk or float. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale, step the left leg back. Inhale, raise up, sorry, drop the back knee. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, twist left elbow to the outside of the right knee. You could stay here twisting or hug the right hip in underneath you. Power up through the back leg and lift the back knee. And keep extending long through the spine. Stay here or take the left arm down, the right arm up. bring the hands back to center take an inhale and then as you exhale you're going to take the hands down drop the back knee inhale here and then exhale start to shift the hips back straightening through the right leg plant the left hand underneath the shoulder and as you inhale rotate the right arm up towards the sky knowing that you can always stay in this variation. If you're coming into twisted triangle, take the right hand down, start to shift yourself forward into a low lunge, 
drop the back heel so that you're heel to heel and then start to straighten through the front leg. You could stay here or with your hand, left hand on the floor or left hand on a block, start to lengthen through the spine, rotate the right shoulder and arm up towards the sky for twisting triangle. Drawing the right hip back, the left hip up. And take three breaths. One more inhale. And then exhale. Take the hand down to the floor. With or without a vinyasa, make your way to downward facing dog. And then from your downward dog, step walk or float yourself through to a seat. Extend the legs out in front of you. Take an inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale, fold it forward. And then from here, you're going to take the right hand to the outside of the left foot and just start to open the chest towards the left. And if you're flexible enough, you might be able to look out and underneath that left shoulder. Inhale, bring yourself back through center. And then as you exhale, start to take the left hand to the right and start to rotate yourself open towards the right. Again, maybe you're able to look under the right shoulder. Inhale yourself through center. And then you're gonna stamp your right foot to the outside of the left knee. Maybe you stay here or maybe you bend the left knee back on itself so that the heel comes to rest by the right hip. Take the right hand behind you, inhale, sweep the left arm up. And then exhale, either hook the elbow to the outside of the knee or just hug around the knee. Inhales take you longer, exhales take you deeper. Slowly unwind yourself, extend your legs out in front of you. And then this time stamp the left foot to the outside of the right knee, stay here. Or bend that right knee back on itself so it comes by the left hip. Left hand behind you, inhale, sweep the right arm up. And then exhale, twist towards the left. Take one more inhale, and then exhale, slowly unwind. Make your way towards the top of the mat and slowly with control roll yourself all the way onto your back. And take the arms out to capital T, cross the left leg over the right knee like eagle legs. Take an inhale, and then as you exhale, you're just going to let the legs fall over to the left, gently grounding down through the right shoulder. Inhale, bring yourself through center. Cross the right knee over the left like eagle legs. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, let the knees fall towards the right, gently grounding through the left shoulder. Inhale yourself through center. Squeeze the knees in towards the chest or take a happy baby pose, whatever feels good in your body. And 
And then take one nice deep inhale through the nose. Maybe roll the knees and the chin, chest towards each other, crawling into a little ball. And then as you exhale, let everything go into Shavasana. Sending the feet away from the head. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And let everything go through the mouth. Start to release the control of your breathing, letting the palms turn towards the sky. Feeling the energy and space you've created in your body. And taking this time to really let go of everything that you've just let move through you. Please stay in your Shavasana for as long as you have time for. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Today as you go forward, may you have clarity in your thoughts, intention in your words, and peace and lightness within your heart. Namaste.